The first leaked image of the Panasonic S1H2 has taken the camera world by storm, and the rumored $5,000 price tag has immediately divided the professional community. This development has sparked intense debate among photographers, filmmakers, and content creators who are now trying to determine whether Panasonic has just made a bold, visionary move or a risky miscalculation. Insiders and early leaks suggest that Panasonic is not playing it safe this time. Instead, they're attempting to redefine what a full-frame cinema-oriented hybrid camera can deliver. After digging deep into the leaks, specifications, and whispers coming out of Asia, it's clear that this new model could either revolutionize Panasonic's lineup or alienate much of its existing user base. The original Panasonic S1H, launched back in 2019, became an unexpected hit among professional filmmakers. Priced at $4,000, it offered a cinematic image quality that rivaled far more expensive cinema cameras, while retaining the flexibility and form factor of a mirrorless body. It wasn't the most compact or beautiful camera, but it earned respect for reliability, heat management, and professional-grade video capabilities. The S1H2, however, seems to push that formula in a far more aggressive direction. From the leaked image, the design looks familiar, retaining the signature S-series aesthetic with its boxy body and robust grip. Yet, beneath that recognizable shell may lie a technological overhaul that redefines Panasonic's professional identity. At the heart of the Panasonic S1H2 leaks lies its rumored 16-megapixel full-frame global shutter sensor. While 16 megapixels might sound modest in a market dominated by high-megapixel sensors, the inclusion of a global shutter changes everything. Unlike the rolling shutter sensors found in most mirrorless cameras, a global shutter captures the entire image simultaneously, completely eliminating distortion during fast motion or panning. This kind of technology has typically been reserved for cinema cameras costing upwards of $20,000, such as those from ARRI or RED. Bringing that capability to a $5,000 mirrorless body could be a game-changer, particularly for filmmakers, sports shooters, and professionals who demand absolute precision in motion capture. One of the most debated aspects of these leaks revolves around dynamic range. Some internal documents claim that the Panasonic S1H2 could achieve over 16 stops of dynamic range, putting it in the same league as the legendary Ari Alexa, a benchmark in professional cinematography. If this turns out to be true, Panasonic could leapfrog major competitors like Sony and Canon in dynamic performance, particularly in cinematic color reproduction. However, skepticism remains. Many professionals believe such claims are optimistic until verified through real-world testing. Still, the potential is enough to have the filmmaking community on edge, wondering whether Panasonic has truly cracked the code of global shutter image quality without sacrificing color depth or low-light performance. What's fueling even more speculation is the alleged collaboration between Panasonic and ARRI. Reports suggest that ARRI engineers may have provided input on color science or gamma curves for the S1H2. This partnership, if accurate, would bring a layer of professional credibility and cinematic expertise that few competitors could match. However, this also raises an important question. If Panasonic is aligning itself more closely with ARRI's elite professional ecosystem, could that mean the S1H2 is being aimed exclusively at high-end filmmakers, potentially distancing itself from the broader content creator market? The brand must tread carefully between creating a professional masterpiece and keeping its products accessible to independent creators who help make the original S1H successful. Beyond the sensor, the Panasonic S1H2 is rumored to deliver jaw-dropping video performance, further justifying its premium cost. Early information points to 4K recording at up to 240 frames per second, without any crop factor, a monumental leap for a full-frame hybrid camera. Additionally, the leaks mention 5.1K video at 120 frames per second, and even full open-gate recording, giving creators enormous flexibility for cinematic framing and post-production cropping. These specs, if confirmed, would place the S1H2 in direct competition with much more expensive cinema cameras while leaving rivals like the Canon R5C or Sony FX3 scrambling to keep up. However, there's also a caveat. The leaked documents hint at potential recording time limitations due to massive file sizes and data throughput challenges. Panasonic might be pushing the boundaries of what's physically possible within a mirrorless form factor. 
and heat management or storage constraints could become critical issues. Another major rumor that's generating excitement and anxiety is internal ProRes RAW recording. This feature, reportedly confirmed by multiple sources, could allow creators to record professional-grade footage without relying on external recorders. However, the exact ProRes variants supported remain unclear. If Panasonic includes the full ProRes 4444XQ ecosystem, it could give the S1H2 a massive advantage in post-production flexibility. But if compromises have been made to meet the $5,000 price point, Professionals who rely on the highest quality codecs may still opt for dedicated cinema systems. Either way, internal RAW recording at this level would be a massive step forward for hybrid filmmaking. The image stabilization system is another headline feature rumored for the Panasonic S1H2. Sources claim the camera will introduce a revolutionary 8.5 stop, 5 axis IBIS system, potentially the most advanced of any full frame mirrorless model. This could give handheld shooters a level of stability rivaling gimbal footage. However, concerns have been raised about how this system might affect camera weight, heat dissipation, or even introduce rolling artifacts during extreme stabilization. Panasonic is reportedly addressing these engineering challenges, but whether they've found a perfect balance remains to be seen. Autofocus, long considered Panasonic's Achilles' heel, could also be getting a long overdue overhaul. The S1H2 may finally adopt phase hybrid autofocus, merging contrast detection with phase detection to achieve faster, more accurate subject tracking. If it can match or surpass Sony's real-time tracking or Canon's dual-pixel AF systems, Panasonic could finally silence one of the loudest criticisms of its mirrorless cameras. For professionals and hybrid shooters alike, this could mark a turning point that redefines Panasonic's reputation in the autofocus arena. Another standout rumor involves 32-bit float internal audio recording, a feature usually found only in high-end external recorders. This would allow for vastly improved audio capture without clipping or distortion, appealing to professionals who demand clean, dynamic sound directly from the camera body. However, this further reinforces the impression that Panasonic may be steering the S1H2 toward elite users rather than the everyday creator. If the company focuses too heavily on professional features, it risks pricing out the YouTubers, vloggers, and hybrid shooters who formed a major part of its previous audience. The $5,000 price tag remains the most divisive element of the S1H2 discussion. If the leaks hold true, the Panasonic S1H2 might not just redefine what a mirrorless camera can do, it could also redefine how we think about value, performance, and accessibility in the modern filmmaking world. Whether it becomes a legend or a lesson in overreach, one thing is certain, Panasonic has everyone's attention.